Okay, guys, we are here again to get another episode. And as I promised you, I'm going to show you how to test crank sensor by using multimeter and procedure how you go about it. So, please like the video and smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to share video to go back because people need it. And this content is all about creating and showing useful information to car users, auto technicians, and mechanics. So, if you are a technical man out there and you really want to know how to use multimeter to test crack sensor, any sensor on the car, this is the right time and the right channel for you to keep updating you. So, subscribe again and like the like button, but I didn't want to waste my time. I'm taking you to the video and show you step by step how to use multimeter to test crank sensor on the engine if you really want to know how it works. So, first of all, I turn on my multimeter. This is my multimeter, and uh, let me check if my multimeter is working. So I check my multimeter, and it's working. So you can see I have turned it to, I mean, 20 ohms. This is the right figure for you to use when you are about to check price and stuff. For other, the, I mean, terminals to this. Uh, and so that you might not able to base it for other resistant and electrical holders. So you have to make sure you have to set it how it is and it will give you the right I mean figure what you are about to do. So we have two pins inside and we have negative post negative camera and then the positive camera. So I'm going to reset them as you can see the we have this is the edge and then we have positive one. So we are going to insert them inside and when I insert it you might see that automatically it will read. So let's see how it will goes. Okay. So when okay so we have finished checking this one which is reading that means the resistance in the sensor and we are going to check this one whether there is a resistance or not the same procedure as it is on 20 ohms so this is an open socket so okay, so this is an open socket we have positive and negative and as you can see it's not reading that means there is no resistance in the sensor which will not able to spark the car and that is how it, uh, if there is a system automatically you can see the multimeter is reading and as you can see it is reading but when you divert it here there is no power in the sensor so it's no more working at all this is how we check sensors on multimeter with this procedure so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and put the like button. Share the video to go viral. Well, welcome to Eric Auto Center, the home of automotive tips and useful information that we give you for free that we didn't charge. So keep watching this channel and share our videos to go viral. We will meet you once again with yet another useful information next week. Thank you and stay tuned. Bye-bye.